Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We have 8.15 on the clock and we are already in the car, headed on a road trip. We're on a road trip. We got Gabby, we got Sophie, we got Sam. So yesterday it felt like spring. We took our horse and our dog for a walk. Today it feels like winter again. That is spring in Ontario. It's you never know what the weather is gonna be. But so today we decided to go on a road trip. It's a horsey hunting road trip. I'm excited. You guys know that we're in the market for at least one new horse. Um, I almost think Gabby could get another horse except for she loves Chino. Chino loves her. They're invested and I believe we can fix Chino. I believe we are on the way to fixing Chino. Uh, he's perfect in every way except for that his feet get sore after being ridden. So I want to make sure that his feet don't get sore. And we're working on that with our farrier and our vet. I'm excited for a new Chino this summer. But we are definitely on the hunt for a horse for Sophie. We don't know what we want. We're, we've been looking. We we find a good all-rounder that suits her. Then we would buy it hoping that it'll do what she wants to do when she, when she knows what she wants to do. Otherwise, we're... But we're not pushing it. We're not, like, trying to just go out there, buy a horse to buy a horse. We want to, like... We really want to wait and see what she ends up wanting to do with her horse before we get a horse. But if a horse falls into our lap but before that, that seems like it would be an all-rounder and a good fit for her, then we would definitely jump on it. So we're headed on a horsey adventure today and we're taking you guys with us. Before we get there, I wanted to update you guys on the little bulldog that was our neighbor's son's dog that ran out of the house the other morning and they couldn't catch it fast enough. Um, it ran at large for the entire day and then at like 6 p.m. that night they found it and it got hit by a car. So it was really close to our house too. So super scary, super sad. They came and updated us yesterday and it was just really sad. Like it just breaks my heart for anybody that loses a dog like that. I said like he thinks that it was hiding out on our property for most of the day and we looked like we went with them we looked everywhere on our property they were calling her on our property calling and calling and calling and they i said why wouldn't she have come if you were calling her though she was like hiding out on our property i don't i don't know that she was hiding out on our property but why wouldn't she come when you called her and they said she's really really timid and she's probably just really really scared i know dogs when they're scared some dogs when they're scared they run and they run and they run and they run until they can't run anymore. I know that from uh, rescuing dogs. A lot of rescue dogs are like that. They're found because they run and run and run and run until they can't run anymore and they either get hit or something bad happens. But anyway, this little girl got hit. Her name was Georgia. But anyway, that is it. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick little update. Now on to horsey adventures. All right, we're here and there's a chicken guy. There's a Hi. Oh. And it's hailing. Oh. Yeah, it hurts. All right, let's go see what know. kind of chickens they have here. Oh my gosh. Oh, no chickens. Oh, there's chickens. Sophie, they got white chickens. We're getting one. They look oh. kind of ratchet. Okay, and a bunny. And yeah, a puppies. Bunny. All right, so we're at our auction. It's like our first horse auction ever. We don't know if you're like allowed to look at the animals before the auction. We've never been here before. We don't know where we're supposed to go. We're in the wrong spot. Holy moly. Like, my heart is racing. I don't know. Go find her. Oh, there's ponies. We love you. Oh my goodness. Look at the press on that one. Oh my goodness. So a lot of these horses are older. I feel so sad to see numbers on them. Lots of cows. Oh my goodness. You are really so cute. Look at you. Hi. I, have, I feel like crying. I feel like crying. This is so emotional. That's the horse for me. That's the horse for you? Oh, look at that eye though. I think it's the one. Yeah, it's, he's uh... That's an Appaloosa mare, 20 years old, broke to ride, you were been vaccinated. It's a 10 year old. You're really cute. And then over here we have the minis. Oh, 
Aren't you adorable? This is a five-year-old stallion project horse. This is a mare six years old project. Project horse. Wow. Perfect. I love it. She's old. Yeah, she looks like she's got 18. Cushing's. 18. Oh my goodness. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. It's okay. You're okay. Ugh. Look how nice that horse is. So this is a mare. Broke to ride. And drive. Do you like her? I like the beat, not the gray. Of course. Sam wants her to get the tall. percher on. That's too tall, but she's so cute. She's adorable. Yeah, these guys, these guys all look really sturdy. Hi, baby. Oh. Well, they're looking aggressive to her. I like this one too. The lighter bay or the darker? The darker. Lots of cows here. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. So, water spots all over my glasses. It was raining, it's raining now. That was our first like horse auction and we actually sat through all the, most of the horses. So uh, that was neat, that was a neat experience. I always feel so they bad for, for them. a lot of money. Yeah, they went for a lot of money. Like you can buy horses for less money from people. Actually, the best one, the best one I thought was that paint one and it sold for the cheapest. Oh, so I did not like the paint one as much because it had like an evil look on its eyes. Like I can feel their energy and it out, did seem... But it was like being harassed by other horses. Yeah, it's, it wasn't as settled. It wasn't as, as... It wasn't as gentle and quiet and it, you could just see by its eyes it was stubborn. It had like a stubborn nature and that's just horses. But definitely didn't think it was for us. But when we were leaving there was another paint horse. Oh, was there? Yeah, yeah, and he was really cute. Yeah, she, yeah so yeah, I had a sway back. But sway backs don't uh, necessarily mean like it just causes like saddle fit issues. But anyway, first ever experience at a horse auction. I loved it there because you could go in and register your name and then you could auction. But at our sales barn, there's no place to register. Oh, there is upstairs. Oh, is it upstairs? Oh, well, it's not like. Like this place, you walk in and it's it's a little just bit more organized. Organized. They, they only have the one ring to sell everything, so it would take yeah. all day to sell. Yeah, it would take all day. They did. Fa they went fast though. Yeah, it was nice. It was fun. It was interesting. It was something to just put under our tool belt. It was nice to be able to like see the horses move and see what I thought about like their health and stuff. Like I don't know. We're not in the market to buy a horse from. Uh, sales barn because we need way more help than that. Usually when we buy horses we buy them with the help of our trainer and obviously going to the sales barn is not buying one with help. <laughs> so we did not buy one but I really enjoyed like going and seeing the horses. I When I was walking through the barn I literally felt like I was going to cry. I just could feel like it must be so hard for horses to go into that environment and I could just feel them. They're just like, horses are so sensitive and it just, some of them are amazing. Some of them are so calm. So we just got home. You guys, the weather was terrible. It took was us like forever one, to get home. Two, three. So 
So where do you see? Put the camera on good. Oh, wow. So those so are green. That's most pit. Okay. No, wait. that's beige. It looks beige. If you open it, it's green. It's beige. No, see these beige ones are actually pink. And then on the side. Okay, so one we have right. one pink egg cracking, and then we have two green ones cracking. No, that's green. The other one's pipping. No, it's green. Go back. So you can see it's green. So beige. So this is this is blue, and behind it, it's hard to tell. It's green. Does you that look like a pip or is that? A oh, the brown ones. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys that see those brown eggs over there? They're so pretty. They're from black copper moran chickens and those are the ones I really want to hatch. I just want a rooster. We have a hen. I just want a rooster. Don't you know that you're beautiful?